Alright. some branches there they licked, but good. Man, these mosquitoes are bad guys. So that's, what is that, three or four scrapes now? And that's within, I've barely walked anywhere. I had, at one point, a double tree stand back there. And two years ago, someone cut it, cut the seats out of it, so you can't sit in it anymore. There's a reason I had it here. It's always scraped up in here. So, I might keep pushing more. Test our luck. Like I said, I haven't gotten snorted at yet, so. That's a good thing, I guess. Oh, there's scrape number five. Again, past couple days, that got opened up. It's now five scrapes within a hundred yards of each other. That is excellent. I've marked all these on Onyx so I can visually see them from above. But I'm gonna keep pushing on here. I would like to find a really big scrape and hunt that tonight. If I can survive these mosquitoes. That's another question. somewhere on the ground but 
That's some excellent sign right there. So, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. See how this is all crazy, flattened down. There's two bucks in here fighting this morning. I actually had one camera, and I think in here somewhere. Oh, there goes one, son of a bitch. There's just a deer up on that hill there, right underneath the tree stand. Right there's the tree stand. The deer is literally right there. Oh, well, whatever that was smelled me. But they were fighting in here this morning. Well, guys, back of the truck. <clears throat> Unfortunately, even if I would have hunted that tree stand tonight, I still would have ended up bumping that deer, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. But we got some really great intel tonight. So I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys try to use the in-season scout. I think it's so important to do that kind of stuff. You can know what deer are on the property, but if you don't know where they're making their scrapes and where the scrapes are, where the buck sign is, it puts you at a disadvantage. Now, did I just blow through all that and leave a whole bunch of scent behind? Yeah, I did. I won't uh, I won't hunt this again probably for over a week just because of my schedule right now and everything else. So that benefited me quite a bit, knowing that I'm not going to be here for a little while and uh, things can settle back down and whatnot. So I hope you guys learned something. If you did, please leave a like. The likes and the comments help my videos reach more people. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you're having a great day. And until next time, peace.